Roland S760 with a SCSI 2SD uh, SCSI board internally. What we're going to do is take this CD, the sample CD, and put it on this SD card using the PC. So this is great if you don't have a SCSI CD-ROM. Uh, SCSI CD-ROM drive then um, you can also do it on the computer. We're going to take an ISO or an image of this uh, CD and uh, image it onto or burn it onto this SD card. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so I went ahead and started the uh, ISO or turning the disk into an ISO. You can use many programs. There's, that's pretty pretty common process or procedure to do making an ISO. So I didn't really want to show you guys how to do that part. But anyways, once you get your ISO, and this is complete here, uh, I'm going to use a program called Win32 Disk Imager, which allows me to put an image file onto an SD card. So the first thing I need to do actually is rename my file because I made an ISO, an ISO and it needs to be an IMG file for Win32 to recognize it for whatever reason. So I'm going to go ahead and load this file. Spring Beats. And, uh, oops, I haven't installed the drive. Let me install the drive real quick. So I'm going to take my SD card, which is on a USB stick, insert that in my computer. Let's see if it'll pop up. There it is. Click cancel here. So now it shows up as drive S. So that's my removable drive, which is the SD card. Now, um, so now that I got the file name here, supremebeats.mig, the drive set, then I just want to do a write. If you do a read, that's going to read whatever's on the SD card into an image file. So but what we want to do is put the image file onto the SD card, so we're going to do write. So let's go ahead and start that. Yes. So it's going to go through this process. It's actually pretty quick, not too long. But I'll go ahead and forward it anyways. All right, so this took a couple minutes. Now, one thing about these SCSI 2 SD boards is that they allow you to put four drives on an SD card, uh, but the PC will only see the first drive. So it's going to put whatever image file you select on the first drive. And then once in the sampler, if you want, you can copy that what's on the first drive to the other drive so you can put another image file on the first drive. And uh, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys that in a bit. So let's click OK here, and we'll quit here. And now I'm going to take the SD card and put it in my sampler. All right. So there's the SD card. It's a little dark, so hopefully you can see it. So now that it's inside the sampler, I'm going to go ahead and refresh my screen here, so you guys can see. So let's go to disk, we're going to go to load, and I'm going to do a refresh so I can uh, see the new card in there. So here it is, as you can see, HD0 is the first drive, and that's the World Dance Supreme Beats image we put on. And I have two other drives here, I haven't formatted the fourth drive, but yeah, you can put four, four hard drives on this SD card. So now that it's there, I can just go to load and load what's on the SD card.